What's going on everybody? This is the editor and I just have a message from the Time Teller channel. We just want to wish you a safe and happy 4th of July and thank you for stopping by today. What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman at the Time Teller. So guys, I've gotten some pushback in prior episodes for making the very bold statement that Seiko is an underrated company, okay? Especially when we consider all their innovative achievements throughout the years. First production quartz watch, first production automatic chronograph, first Japanese chronometer grade movement, and still they're able to offer watches under $100 all the way to the high, high, high six figures. Forgive me, I think Seiko deserves a little bit more credit. Now, let's go ahead and talk about why I think Seiko is underrated but not necessarily undervalued because here we're going to take a look at five Seikos that don't get a whole lot of attention. People don't talk about them nearly enough, but still they fetch a pretty penny. It's 3.30 p.m. Let's get down to business. All right, first watch on the list is the King Seiko Special. Now guys, this King Seiko Special chronometer you used to be able to get for around 400 bucks, but now uh, you're lucky to find one in decent condition for under a thousand. You see, in the 1960s when Seiko achieved chronometer grade status with their Grand Seiko J14070, they weren't done. They fitted this King Seiko Special with a 28,800 BPH high beat movement, and this watch even had a regulator screw fitted in between the lugs, hidden behind the strap. Very cool. So guys, again, this watch is an absolute powerhouse when it comes to all these little details and again, a crazy, crazy movement inside that watch. Some really cool history. I wish you could still find it for around that $400 mark. Looks like it's not going to happen because again, even rough examples are floating around a thousand. But if you have one, let me know because I might want to scoop it up. Next Seiko on the list of underrated Seikos that still fetch a pretty penny are the Seiko 6138s. Now guys, when it comes to vintage Seiko Chrome Chronographs, the Seiko 6139s really get all the fame. But if you got your hands on one of the various 6138s, you're doing pretty well. Now I made a little list inside of the list. It's like a listception. If you have an all original 6138-0011, they're going for around 700 bucks, not bad. But if you have an all original 6138-8020, they're selling for around $2,000 in decent condition. And of course, if you're lucky enough to have an all original Seiko 6138 Bullhead in good condition, that's going for around $1,000. And if you have one, just, just send it to me. Give me, just give me your watch. You'd be surprised how many people write to me that like every day. Hey, that's a cool watch, just give it to me. I don't, I don't know you, I'm not gonna give you my, okay, fine. All right, next watch on the list, the Seiko Navigator Timer, a very, very cool watch, very unique, and maybe my favorite watch on the list. Now, this Seiko 6117 8000 GMT, sorry, kind of weird reference numbers when we're getting into these vintage Seikos, uh, 38 millimeter automatic with a GMT complication, really cool watch. And again, it's a fairly early GMT, right? It's from the 1960s, and that's a whole lot of functionality back then. That's a whole lot of functionality right now. Now, hear me out, okay? You can actually find these watches for around 400 bucks and that doesn't seem that bad, but you gotta be very wary of all these Franken watches and unoriginal parts and just watches in really bad condition. But mark my words, okay, have some patience, do your research, pick one of these up for 400 bucks right now, and these will go up in price, I promise you. And I know someone's gonna comment, well, that's gonna go up in price because a stupid slime teller made a video about it. So yeah, now it's gonna go up in price, thanks. Okay, if I'm not allowed to talk about watches, then what am I gonna make videos on? <laughs> Jeez. I seriously only drink Fiji water. If there's not Fiji water in my office when I film, I get so Right, next Seiko on the list of underrated Seikos that still fetch a pretty penny, the Seiko Lord Marvel. Now there's been a few Lord Marvels throughout the years. We're gonna be talking about the 5748,000. 8, now on the surface, this Lord Marvel doesn't seem all that special. 23 jewel hand wind movement, but it's got a 36,000 BPH movement, incredibly smooth, crazy for a watch this old. And guys, again, mark my words, this watch is gonna skyrocket in price. You can find these right now for around 500 bucks in decent decent condition, um, these are definitely gonna go up because finding an old school watch like this from the 70s with a 36,000 BPH movement, um, it's not common. So uh, yeah, definitely pick one of these up right now and uh, you'll thank me for it. 
And last, but definitely not least, uh, this is maybe my favorite behind the navigator timer, the Seiko World Time. Now these 1960s, 6217, 7,000 world times. Again, I apologize for these wonky reference numbers. This is a really good looking watch. I mean, it's funky, it's really unique, really cool complication, and they're very difficult to find in good working condition. And the unfortunate part is that if you can find them in good condition, you're gonna be paying around two grand. But hear me out, I do have some good news, a little bit of a silver lining. Okay, if you like the way this watch looks, then fear not because Seiko makes a kinetic version currently that looks very, very similar to this old school one, uh, but you know, it's modern, so you don't have to worry about breaking it or babying it. And uh, yeah, it's much more affordable. You can get it for around 300 bucks. And I will leave a link to that watch in the description below. So guys, there you have it. Five, honestly, underrated Seikos that still fetch a pretty penny. A couple of those definitely are gonna go up and I've already seen them go up. So guys, leave me a comment. Do any of you have any experience with these watches on the list? And also leave me a comment, which watches would you add to this list? And again, I'm just trying to clarify, although I think Seiko deserves a ton of credit, even more credit than they get already, um, they're underrated, not necessarily undervalued. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode, if it helped you out at all, please feel free to click the link in the description below and shop at the Time Teller shop. I don't think I have any of these watches there because these are uh, incredibly hard to find, but I do have some other really cool watches, some other really cool Seikos. So click that link, shop around, watches, watch straps, watch winders, watch toolkits, really the one-stop shop for the watch collector like you. So support the channel, click that link and help me out and I will love you. And if you're new here, if this is your first time joining us here at the Time Teller channel, what are you doing? Subscribe already, click that subscribe button, takes one second, hit that bell icon so you do not miss an episode of the Time Teller. There's just so much more awesome content on the way and you don't wanna miss it. I'm telling you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with other watch enthusiasts, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller, and always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Real quick, if you enjoyed this episode, then do not worry, the fun doesn't need to stop here. Check out these recommended episodes that are gonna be popping up on the screen anytime now. Also, take a moment, check out my brand new channel, the Time Away channel. It's where I talk about everything outside of the watch world, some of my other collections, some of my other hobbies. And if you're not interested in any of that, don't worry, just stay right here and I will see you right here. Because I, I never leave. I am trapped inside of this camera.